What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. So uh, actually on vacation this week, uh, but I wanted to make sure and create a, another one of my insights for Turo renters, Turo hosts. Today is going to be for the renters and specifically it's going to be around damages. So how many of us have rented a car and something happens to it? You know, you go to Hertz Enterprise and accidentally curb rashed a wheel or bumped the door or something happens and you're like, I'm just gonna go drive it over to the place and hopefully they don't realize that it's there. I'm here to tell you that with Turo, this is a completely different experience. So think of these people as individuals that are owning these vehicles in a lot of cases. So you wanna treat them like you would treat your own vehicle. Anything ever happens to the car, you wanna be able to report that damage to them as soon as you possibly can. If you have a good host, they will follow Turo's guidelines when it comes to filing a claim and making sure that either they are gonna go directly through Turo's insurance, depending on how severe the damages are, or they will work directly with you if it's a small claim and something that you can ultimately pay for. So make sure you are communicating with your host when things happen. Things do happen, life happens. You can let these people know that something happened when you were driving the car and you ultimately are gonna have to take responsibility for that if it's your own fault. Uh, I have done it myself. Uh, now that I am on the Turo platform, I have unfortunately damaged the vehicle before and had to work with the host uh, in order to get the vehicle fixed. But that is a part of life. When I communicated with my host that something had happened with the car that I rented, uh, they were more than willing to work with me uh, because I informed them of it before they received the vehicle. Don't wait until after the car comes back to start taking responsibility for something that happened to the car. It just makes you feel better, makes the host feel better because we're all in communication on what's happening. That is gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching once again and thank you for liking my Facebook page. If you like this content, give it a good like, share it if you would like to your friends so that way more people will decide to rent on platforms like Turo. I keep hearing more and more and more that all these big rental car companies don't have cars available to rent. So there are plenty that you can choose from in many different cities throughout the country. So definitely consider Turo if you wanna rent a vehicle and consider a chewrentals.com if you are looking for a vehicle in the Jacksonville area. We have vehicles from minivans to uh, two-seater convertibles that you can enjoy. So definitely consider renting from Turo wherever you're going to be. And I thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend.